Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Langstrom's Pony. Langstrom's Pony is an Irish jig, uh, quite old, probably 18th century, with origins in Ireland and Scotland. Um, it has two up to five parts, and I'm going to give you two versions. One, a very straightforward three-part version uh, with no ornaments, and then a five-part version with ornaments. Right, let's start off with the simple version, three parts. We're in the key of A, but it's A mixolydian, which means that we have a G natural. And when that happens, the two main chords are usually the, uh, in the case of A, it's going to be A and a G. So we're going up to that kind of stuff. Okay, um, I'll go fairly slowly through the whole tune. One, two. If you are fairly new to Irish fiddling, then uh, the bowing for a tune like this is going to be your biggest uh, challenge. And if you recognise this as the way you play it, then you're not alone. <laughs> That's how almost everyone starts off playing jigs. Uh, what, you, what you really don't want to be doing is doing long bows and you don't want them to be all the same. So what you're aiming for is da 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 da, not da 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 da. So that is what you're aiming for, and it's not easy because I've tried teaching a lot of people how to do jig boy, and it doesn't go simply. Okay, so I do have several videos which go in much more detail into how to do jig bowing, so I suggest you check out some of those. So here we go with the backing. Right, let's move on to the uh, four-part version, and this has ornaments. The ornaments are mostly going to be uh, double cuts, and a, um, if, th if that's a melody note, then a double cut would normally be that note, the note above, and then the melody note. And you will normally um, slur from the ornament into the uh, melody note. So we've got quite a few of those. We've got a few rolls. 
and I've got a video all about the roll. So nice and slow through the A section to start with. So we've placed uh, three um, double cuts and we've also got, I'm not sure if that particular ornament has an actual name or whether you'd even consider it an ornament. Uh, orn ornamentation is not an exact science. <laughs> there are no treatises. Well, there are treatises, but there's nothing that says this is how it must be done. And always be aware that you can put in or leave out ornaments wherever and whenever you like. Okay, uh, B section. Okay, C section has a couple of rolls. Notice with the rolls, you leave most of the action until it's almost too late. So you don't go... You don't start into the roll straight away, you go. You play uh, most of the notes before you even start the roll. And if, if it sounds like you're almost waiting, wasting your effort because you can't hear the notes you're playing, that's exactly what you should be doing. So it's meant to be just a disturbance of the note rather than a clear. You don't want to hear that. Okay, the final section. Let me show you in this section there's a thing that I call a drop bow which is a nice little option. So you're doing your normal bows then you lift off and you play the next note as a like what I call a drop bow and uh, there's no kind of particular explanation for this other than it, can, it well one thing is it imitates the flute because uh, flautists have to take a breath and whistle players. And it, it can be a really nice effect when they take a breath and actually stop playing. Because fiddle players will very often keep the bow down the whole time, which can be a bit tedious. So just ever, ever so occasionally lifting it up is quite, quite nice. Let me just go through that section at speed. You get the idea. So I'm, I'm certainly not saying you have to do that, but it's a nice thing to learn to do. Okay, I will play all the way through. Um, oh, just one more thing. If you ever watch Kevin Burke playing a jig, or indeed almost anything, he very often will start on an up bow instead of a down, which is contrary to what almost everyone will explain how you've got to do it. Uh, the advantage with a jig in particular of starting with an up is that it gives you a strong beat then on the fourth note, or the second beat if you're counting in one, to so if you want that strong middle beat then that's the way to do it by starting with an up bow but it's really good if you can start either with an up or a down uh, without it phasing you uh, because some th sometimes something will happen at the end of a bar and you will end up on the uh, bow that you didn't expect so it's great to be able to do both Okay, I'm going to play all the way through with the backing. And incidentally, if you like my backing tracks, uh, you, uh, they are all available to anyone who joins me on Patreon at level two or three. So do please consider that. Okay, I'll play through this.
thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the sheet music for this, then do subscribe to the channel. And as I say, do please consider joining me on Patreon because that's what keeps these videos coming. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.